Hey, Bass Geek here, and today we got some new goodies for the boat. What's going on, geeks? Hey, I've got some really cool things from Ashmore Marine Products, or AMP as they're better known. You can find them on Facebook. You can find them at literally ashmoremarine.com. Now, I partnered with this company. Uh, I just reached out to them because I've got Old Ruby, man, the Red Triton. By the way, for you all that were wondering, Old Ruby's not going away. She's going to stay in the family. I'm going to let my son-in-law and I'm going to let my son run that boat. I'm going to keep it as a spare. You know, you never know when you got to have boat repairs or maintenance and that sort of stuff. Uh, or you're just doing 75 down the lake and you hit a daggone hog. I mean, it happens, you know, lower units go out. That will enable me to be able to keep putting content out for you guys. You know, old Ruby, man, she's been paid for for years, so no need to rush her out the door, if you know what I'm saying. Old Ruby, she needs some work. You know, she needs some tender loving care, and over the past few years, we've kind of been handling that sort of thing. This is one of those things. The dash, the control switches, the front control panel are all in horrible shape. It's that old, ugly, dry rotted, <laughs> breaking up wood grain plastic. And it's not holding anything anymore. Literally, I'm holding it together or, or the parts and pieces are holding it together. So Ashmore actually sent me the three panels and a little surprise for my uh, co-anglers and it was a little rod separator. Shout out to my buddy in South Carolina, Joey, who turned me on to his products because he got some things from him, including a wedge to level your trolling motor up on some older boats. Now, man, he can do about anything. So if you're looking for some parts that you can't find or are hard to find or impossible to find, Ashmore Marine Products, that you, you need to go check him out. But for now, let's get out there and put this stuff on my boat. So we're not gonna dive in super deep on the wiring, pulling switches out, get into any sort of real details on that sort of stuff because every boat is different. The very first thing you can see is we're taking out this old broken wood grain plastic panel out of the very front. That's where we start is the front control panel. We got two switches, a small light that we decided not to put back in. And of course, my good old hydro wave. We started by running all the cables for the trolling motor, the hydro wave, the electronic, you know, the graph through this little hole. Now that little hole is actually designed for a plug-in for your trolling motor. But what we decided to do is just run everything down through it and use it for all of the electronic to come out. We just tuck the plug into the very bow of the boat. From there, it's really just positioning the panel where you want it, screwing it down, making sure that you've got the toggle switches. And then we went ahead and mounted the hydro wave just above the triton logo that they put in the new panel guys this is really thick stuff very durable and it looks way better than the old wood grain next we went on to the actual switch panel now i was there by myself i didn't have jeremy to help me so i didn't get any footage i apologize but it's pretty straightforward take the old switch panel off pop off the knobs slide out the switches put them into the new panel. matches up pretty dead on put the knobs on threw it back in this is what it looked like uh looks great the one upgrade i did it had the old style cigarette lighter sort of charger port and so i just went ahead and ordered me off amazon uh, a double usb wired it straight up pretty simple it's got a weatherproof cover over it and that thing works great i'm super happy to have that so the very last panel is actually the instrument panel or the dash this one was probably the most complicated the actual instruments were the only thing holding the wood grain panel in the biggest tip I can give you about doing this, there's a lot of wires here. Make sure you take pictures of the back of the gauges before you take them out. Uh, that's where me and Jeremy started. We took pictures of the gauges. We took those out. We took the old 
uh, wood grain panel out. We then had to do a little bit of work and this thing is really thick. So it took some effort to get it bent, but we had to heat this panel up just a little bit because it has a curve to it. So we took a heat gun, we heated it, we applied pressure to it, which poor Jeremy had to do uh, while I was heating it. And we got the sort of curve that we wanted. We did have to drill out a couple of holes because we were lowering some of the gauges, which I was happy about because the way it was mounted in there now, to see my water gauge or my water pressure gauge, I was having to lean over and look around my graph. And that's never a good thing when you're going down the lake. So everything's visible now. We've got the graph uh, mounted. It's a little bit higher. And again, man, it looks so much better. Those amped panels are incredible and he makes a whole host of other things you guys need to check them out all right so last but not least all we have to do is put two screws in to hold our rod holder a really rod separator and i tell you i like this now i'm not going to get you know have a lot of rods over there for me but i've fished as a co-angler a lot and you are either putting rod covers on and off constantly or your having to separate rods when you're in the middle of the tournament. And trust me, I don't care what you do, they get tangled up at some point in time and you're spending five minutes trying to get stuff apart. So this is a handy little thing. Hopefully it'll help out a lot of the guys that fish with me. And a lot of this stuff, you know, especially like, you know, the little tweaks like that, uh, I do plan on adding to the new Camus when we get her. Woo, all right, y'all. So we got everything on, the new gauge is in. I love that dash panel, it moves everything down. You know, I'd be driving down the lake and have to look around and see what my water pressure was. That's probably not that safe, you know what I'm saying? Still got a couple, uh, probably need to get a new volt gauge. Don't know why I didn't order that. Um, and the primary gauge, I'm gonna have to dig around. They've, it's got a, kind of a dongle on it um but you know the rpm which pretty much does everything is in there so i'm gonna have to dig around in there and see you know i'll talk to watson's marine big shout out to those guys too if you need a new camus boat go check out watson's marine and tell them hank sent you man go look on the website they keep it pretty much up to date if not you know we're gonna be doing some videos there so uh anything that they've got i'll keep you apprised of but uh, go check them out. Anybody will tell you, they will make you the sweetest deals you will ever find on a boat. Great bunch of used boats too for you guys. Again, make sure you tell them Bass Geek sent you. Um, all that being said, you know, everything went in pretty smooth. You know, got to replace a couple of things. Uh, you know, like the the light switch up front got to replace the uh trim up and down switch up front you know the switches on the control panel love that that is real good the only problem i'm having with that is the actual key switch it's a d cut key switch but it still wants to spin in there so any ideas on fixing that guys please leave in a comment section think right now I'm maybe gonna just get me uh, some sort of uh, nut or lock washer that, that I can put on there on both sides. So still looking at that, trying to solve that problem. But when you turn the key, the thing gets between the threads, even though it's, it's a D shape, it'll get between the threads and wanna spin the whole thing. So I need to figure out a way to fix that. But it looks better, the boat looks great forgive my lack of cleanliness but you know when you fish as much as i do it's either hey i can clean the boat or i can go fishing so i know that it's a little dirty we're gonna get it cleaned up especially when i get to uh 
let my son-in-law my son get to take it out i want them to be happy with it so all that being said hey make sure you go check out ashmore marine products amp um uh, man he makes some real cool stuff if you want to snazzy up that old boat makes them for a lot of different uh manufacturers and uh it looks good man i, I mean i love it so uh, I want to give a big shout out to them and say thanks. Makes the old boat feel new. And uh, as always, guys, questions, comments in the comment section below. You guys know I appreciate everything you do for me. Watching is the best way to support the channel. Now, I do have Tackle Warehouse links. Really not in this video or I'll just leave an overall tackle. So if you're going to buy from Tackle Warehouse, I do make a little bit of money off of it. It doesn't cost you a dime extra. Use that link for me, guys. It helps support the channel. It helps support me. It helps me to live the dream. Uh, and you guys, if you're going to buy fishing gear, hey, you can ask, you can also go out to my website and, and just click on the link there and it'll take you straight to Tackle Warehouse. All that being said, 100% watch squad, man. You guys are great. But like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell so you get the notifications when these videos comes out, come out so you can watch 100% Watch Squad. And as always, you guys rock. Thank you.